Hey guys, so I wanted to do a get ready with me as a quadriplegic makeup video. No makeup function. The struggle is real. Okay, so I was trying to talk in this video and it was way too hard. You can see I'm trying to talk here, but I couldn't because I had to like use my mouth to open so many things and I had to focus and I was dropping things. So I decided I'll just voice over what I was gonna say. I was going to talk about my makeup a little bit but I was also going to talk about how I have been planning my wedding as a wheelchair user so um, this is that refi primer that I'm using that has the little roller on it but I accidentally opened the whole thing and I was like you know what we're just gonna work with this I also realized I needed to speed this video up so if I was talking it just wouldn't work because I take way too long doing my makeup when I have to open everything on my own so this is the Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Foundation, and I really love it. It's like super lightweight, and it's a medium coverage, and it's great. So when I was looking at wedding venues, my first thought was, of course, wheelchair accessibility. And I really wanted to do a barn venue originally because that was very trendy and everyone was doing that and then I saw some garden venues and I was like wow I love that I need that you know where it's all like the pavers and it's super accessible and so I was thinking about that and I found a few that I loved I even found one near my house that I loved and the only reason that I decided not to do that is because I was like I want all of my guests to be able to stay the night at the wedding especially because everybody is traveling from out of town, out of state for my wedding. This is the Hourglass Concealer and I love it so much. It's really creamy and thick and I usually never wear concealer, but this, this is really pretty. My dog is snoring really loud right next to me, so I'm really sorry about that. But basically, I decided that I wanted all my guests to be able to stay. So I decided I needed to start looking at hotel or resort-like venues. And I also was like, okay, I want it to be somewhere that is easy to fly into. So um, I started looking in like Jacksonville and Orlando because I knew I wanted it to be in Florida um, because I'm going to do an October wedding. And I love the weather in Florida in October. It's perfect. Um, end of October. So... Basically, I just started looking at all these hotels. I even looked in St. Augustine, that's a little further from the airport. But I basically just looked at like probably four and I just found the perfect one. And the biggest things besides being flat and accessible were having a great room for the bride and the bridal party to get ready in and then for the groom and the groomsmen to hang out in because honestly you are in those rooms for the majority of the day or at least the bridal party is getting ready so the biggest thing for me was just to really have a big space and not have to get ready in like a small like hotel room this is the eyebrow pencil i'm using i think it's from tarte i don't really know i have so many and i haven't found one i like so if you have one you like let me know so the venue that I chose has a huge hospitality suite that they give the bride and the groom and that's included with the package for the wedding and it was a huge room with high ceilings and the bottom floor if you choose it on the bottom floor which is what I would want the ground floor for the bridal and the grooms um, and basically there's doors to go right outside from those rooms and you can have the rooms right next to each other and I just thought that was so cool. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Cream eyeshadow. It's really pretty. So yeah, I loved those hospitality suites and how they're included. And the other big thing that's included is all the food. So the food, an open bar for four hours. And what else? The cake is included. And then the ceremony site that I loved was outside, super accessible, really pretty. And that's where I would also do the cocktail hour kind of like right behind there because it's all pavers and it was really pretty and accessible. Okay, so this is the NARS cream bronzer that I just got. And for the record, it's the first time I was trying it. It's a little too dark. I don't know if I like it. That's the Tarte bronzer. I like it on my nose because it's really easy to blend and I like the color. but. 
I don't know. I don't really like it on my cheeks for some reason. So yeah, I really like the ceremony site for outside and the cocktail hour site. It was just perfect because the doors to go into the ballroom that I liked where the reception is going to be was right next to it. So it's like, you don't have to go far. It's easy, easy for wheelchair users, easy for everyone. And this is the NARS um, blush also. I really, really love this. So I got to see the ballroom and I always thought I wanted an outside reception, but I love this ballroom. It's like a hexagon shape and then it has a really high ceiling and there is like a little upstairs loft that goes all the way around. I don't think I'll use the upstairs part, but it still just makes the room feel so big. And I'm gonna do a lot of up lighting and we'll do the dinner in there. I'm gonna do like a sit down dinner and then, you know, the speeches and we'll do dinner and dancing and the DJ in there. And I think it'll be perfect. I didn't get to see the backup room for the ceremony in case it rains, but they did say that I could come back and see that. So I'll definitely check that out. But um, the photos I saw, it looked really nice. This is a powder bronzer that I'm putting on that I got from Tarte because I don't know. I don't know what I was doing at this point. But then I'm taking the Huda Beauty baking powder in Cupcake, the packed powder one, because the other one's too messy for me. And I guess I was just putting it everywhere um, to try to blend out my dark, my dark bronzer. I think I also started using the Charlotte Tilbury finishing powder, which I absolutely love. It's a packed powder in like the little gold oval case and I put that everywhere and it's perfect. I love it. It's my favorite. The other cool thing about the venue that I didn't even know about is that there's a whole golf course and that's actually kind of the backdrop of the ceremony site and I thought that would just be really cool for Jack and you know the groomsmen or anyone that's staying the weekend and the other great thing that I love is that there is a whole bunch of restaurants and there's a Starbucks all inside this resort hotel. So you don't have to go anywhere. Once you get there for the weekend, you don't have to go anywhere at all, which is great. And this will also be where we'll do the rehearsal dinner in one of the restaurants is what I was told people usually do. This is the Diamond Glow by Fendi Beauty. Um, highlighter and I really love it. It's very subtle and it's pretty. So I think the only things not included in the price were the rehearsal dinner and the DJ and the photographer and the videographer and of course all the decorations and flowers and any of the extra stuff that I want to do are not included but they do include all the chairs and like tables and linens and dishes and all that. Um, I just put on this Huda Beauty um, brown eyeliner under my eyes because I was like, oh, I'll try that. And then I bought this little thing that I was just holding to try to like draw eyeliner, like winged eyeliner, because I've never done it ever. Um, and I couldn't figure out how to hold it. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to draw it right on. And I didn't know how this was going to go. So this was the first time, but I was like, oh, it doesn't look terrible. So I'm really excited to practice this because I've always, yeah, see, I was trying to go like the wing on the inside and then I realized that it was just way too hard. So I gave up on that very quickly, but I just went with this eyeliner and I kept making it um, longer and longer and maybe too long. The other things I have to figure out for my wedding is who's going to do my makeup if I don't do it myself because I don't feel like I'm good enough yet. Um, so I really am looking for that and then I'm looking for someone to do my hair if not the bridesmaids hair just because um, my mom doesn't want to do all the hair uh, and I don't want her to either because I want her to enjoy the day because my mom is a hairdresser but I want her to just be my mom at the wedding and this is also a Huda Beauty lip liner uh, and it's really pretty it goes on really easy and I like it I think one of the biggest ways I'm going to save money is I don't want to do a lot of flowers because flowers cost like up to like $5,000 or more. So I might do dried flowers, I might do fake flowers, silk flowers, I might just go with a lot of other decorations, a lot of lights, like I really want to do a lot of lights outside. 
so I'm hoping that will help me save money in the end. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty Mascara, and I do like it, but it's a little messy, but I feel like mascara is always messy. I would love to figure out how to do fake lashes eventually. I haven't really practiced, but I do think that I could do it if I practice. But yeah, I feel like that's everything about the venue. I'm really excited, but we're going to get married in 2025, so I have plenty of time to plan and get all my decorations. I haven't decided really on colors yet. Um, this is a highlighter stick from Tarte that I was just putting a little bit of it on, even though it doesn't show that much. This is the Patrick Ta plumping lip gloss, like it's a little bit tingly, um, but I actually really love it, and I do feel like it is plumping. So, I recommend. But that is it. Um, my hair is not done, and I don't think I ever did my hair. I just wanted to make this video to practice my makeup. So, thank you for watching, and I will try and make more videos like this for you guys in the future. And if you like listening to all the wedding planning stuff, let me know in the comments, because I can keep making videos talking about the wedding planning and how everything is going for me being a 2025 bride.